Hey guys, welcome back to another video, Dershark32, and today we're doing a review on the Yoga Classic. Um, it's a pretty good looking van. It's I believe it's based on the Ford Econoline. Um, I'm not sure what year, I think it's just early 60s Ford Econoline. Um, all in all, it's got some good styling. Not really very many complaints about it. But, I mean, it's got nice badging. Yoga Classic there. Yoga Classic there. Um, haven't checked out the customizations yet, so this will be like my first thing that I've done with it. So, uh, yeah, let's get right into it. Now, for speed. I wouldn't really, I wouldn't really buy it for speed. I think the mostly the main part of this van is um is the looks. I think that's mainly why anyone would, anyone would want to buy it. Um, be cool if you could do like lowrider stuff with it. That'd actually be pretty neat. Drifting abilities, it doesn't really have that. Um, so yeah. Um, one of my actually major complaints is, is that so it's a 60s van right well look at the interior it's like super modern interior that for some reason I don't know why Rockstar decided to do this I mean I guess if you want to have kind of a modern look to the van but I mean if you're, if you're gonna make a 60s style van at least make a different interior like I don't mind the dash all that much it's just mainly the steering wheel that I'm kinda annoyed about um, interior is pretty bland um, but yeah that's like one of the major complaints price this van is actually a low amount of money compared to some of the other DLC vehicles vapid yoga classic now, keep in mind, the word Vapid, when I go in the customization shop, I'll show you what's wrong with that. So the Vapid Yoga Classic, ah, uh, the 60s, when utility was cool, and this, this thing was affordable. You can never tell if the back contained a hemp-covered den of equality and recreational drug use, or a mobile torture chamber for the village psycho, or both. And that's the tradition we're proud to maintain. So as you can see, you know, the Yoga Classic... Now when I first looked at this van I was like, oh yay, finally, I'm going to get a nice van with actual interior, and then I looked at this picture here. This doesn't really make sense. So again, keep in mind on the word vapid. Okay, now I'm going to go in the Los Santos Customs. Bravado. Um, so I think Rockstar did a little bit of a misspelling for a, for the website. It says bro, it's actually the Bravado Yoga Classic. So yeah, let's check out customizations. So you have side steps. Now me, I'm gonna I'm just gonna put on side steps because I want to kind of have like a classic look. Engine. Exhaust. You have the double exhaust now. Those aren't like clipping. I don't think it's just hidden underneath the side step. I'm gonna leave that off. We we'll leave liveries and respray for last. Roof, sunshade. I believe that's the tea tree color. I think that's what it's called. Tea, tea tree. Tea tree. I don't know. If you were to sell this vehicle, it'd sell for 117 grand. So if you ever needed money, there you go. Arch extensions. That's another tea tree color. And I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. And you could just slam it. It gets really low. Tailgate, spare wheel. Yeah, let's add that on. Wheels, I'm just going to leave those wheels like that. Windows, I'm going to leave them like that. Now, on to the more interesting things of this van. Liveries. There's 13 liveries. Liveries, liveries, not sure. So you have simple stripe. Which I like, I mean, simple's good. Orange retro stripe, that's more of, as you would see on the vans of the 70s. Blue retro stripe, which would match up with this paint job pretty well. 
the black slash stripe, the red slash stripe, which kind of reminds me of the 18 van, Red Hot Summer. I'm not really a big fan of that big, uh, of like the big flashy stuff or whatever. Yeah, the sausage, <laughs> the sausage van, pretty cool looking. Surf's up, Scooby Doo. Um, now you can't actually get the original color for it, so you'll just kind of have to make it work. These are my favorite here, the rusted out ones. Rusty Shop Van, Rusty Retro Stripe, and Red Hot Summer. Rusty Red Hot Summer. Um. Hmm. The Shop Van has more rust, so I think I'm going to go for that. And then we'll go respray. Tea tree color. That's pretty much that sunshade. Primary color. My crew color is like really dark. Um, I think I want to go white, but I'm like not not 100% sure on that. Let's look at the rest of the colors. I'm liking the blue look on it. Really liking how that blue looks. So thinking about going like a two-tone, like blue, like white, and then red. So let's see how that looks. And then red to match the lettering on the side there. Doesn't really match the Deegs garage logo. De Deegs. I I can't really pronounce that. Um. Reminds me of a rat rod, which I kind of like about it. Teacher color. I'm not sure if I want to go white or if I want to go red. I think I'm going to go red. Only issue is, is that like that's shiny and the rest of the body isn't. Crew emblem, where's that at? Oh, it doesn't have. That sucks. So again, we have the skirts, tailgate. Already got that on there. Should I lower it? Yeah, then I'm gonna lower it if I can. If I have enough money. Suspension. I want to like drop it all the way down. So yeah guys, that's customizations for this beast. Now the rust on it, it looks very good. Um, I like the rusty cars in this game, especially because you're able to make them into rat rods. You're able to do a burnout. So it says, tune up, Fri friends, Fri I can't read that, suspension, hey. auto that trico, oh it's Spanish, okay, okay I see, that's what I was wondering, I was like how come, how am I not able to read that, so let's check out our uh, doors, so let's go, trunk, Tire opens up with it nicely. Again, the interior is pretty bland. Go hood. This thing has a dinky hood on it. So so cute, just so little. Look at that. Look at how cute it is. Okay. Um, rear right. Rear left. Front right, front left. So then we'll move around here, and then I'll check it out. So yeah, again, the interior is pretty modern, that's what I don't like. Um, so, I'll just let you guys have a good look at the interior for a quick sec, look around it. Get a good look at the interior, 
Oh yeah. Just gonna walk around here. Get a good look at the van itself. Okay, so now we'll get a good look at the front of the van. My camera just went wonky there. <laughs> get a good look at the front of the van. Okay, so then we'll shut all the doors. And then we'll take another quick drive around the block. Uh, for me, this van's actually pretty cool. Um, my buddy Luke, I'm not sure if he bought the van or not. I know we were saving up money so that we can do a video on it for both of us, but he, we have a different time zone, so I figured I may as well do the video since I got the money to customize it. So state stability, not its best strong suit. Um, drifting, it, it can't drift. Um, so basically, if you guys are ever going to use this for racing, don't, just don't use it. <laughs> um, it's mainly, it's kind of like the lowriders, you know, they're just for looks. So, uh, yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. This has been the review on the Yoga Classic. Thank you, and bye.